The first is the grinding machine. We put the back plate downward into the convening guide rail and send it into the grinder by the convening guide rail. Brake pad will go through four steps, rough grinding, slotting, fine grinding, and chamfering in turn to complete the grinding section. In addition, a brush is installed at the end of the grinding machine to brush away the dust. Then, the automatic turnover system will reverse the original downward-facing backplate surface upward and send it to the climbing conveyor belt. Second, if you need to scorch these brake pads, Please remove them from the climbing conveyor manually and send them to the scorching machine. After the scorching is completed, put the brake pad back into the climbing conveyor belt for subsequent sections. If scorching is not required, these brake pads will automatically enter the surface cleaning machine with the climbing conveyor belt. The cleaning machine will clean the back plate with wire brushes. After cleaning, the brake pads will be brought to the front of the powder coating line along with the bending conveyor belt. We need to manually place the brake pads on the bending conveyor belt to the powder belt in turn, and the powder belt will send the brake pads to the powder spraying chamber for powder spraying. Two spray guns move back and forth in the spray chamber to spray plastic powder evenly on the brake pads. In order to make the sprayed plastic powder more firm, the brake pad will enter the heating drying channel to solidify the plastic powder by high temperature after spraying and then enter the cooling zone. This is the heating channel and this is the cooling zone. In the cooling zone, the brake pads are cooled by cooling fans and finally the products are sent out by the belt. Then the grinding, scorching, cleaning and the powder coating sections are finished. Now we can collect the brake pads and wait for the next processing procedure.